Yale epidemiology professor Dr. Harvey Risch said Tuesday, that's yesterday, that he believes the President Trump touted drug hydroxychloroquine could save up to 100,000 lives if used properly to treat the coronavirus. Speaking with Fox News' Laura Ingram Monday night, Risch insisted that the controversial drug is proven to be effective against the disease and safe for people to use, but lamented that it has become the victim of a, quote, propaganda war. It's a political drug now, not a medical drug, Risch said. I think we are basically fighting a propaganda war against the medical facts. And that color is not just population people. What does that mean, not just population people? Must be a typo. How they think about it, but doctors as well. There are many doctors that I've gotten hostile remarks from. I know, no kidding. The doctors who've called this show. Some of the doctors, obviously, have called this show. Saying that all the evidence is bad for it. And in fact, that is not true at all. All the evidence is actually good for it when it's used in outpatient uses. Remember what I told you, the first five days. If you give it much later, it's useless. All in all, Rish asserted, 75,000 to 100,000 lives would be saved if the drug was used widely and perhaps as a prophylactic, which is how I take it, my dear listeners, meaning in a preventative manner. Rish, who is a researcher at the Yale School of Public Health, published a study into the efficacy of hydroxychloroquine in early June and concluded the drug should be made, quote, widely available. At the time, he said that the drug in combination with azithromycin or doxycycline and probably with zinc could serve as a game changer in the fight against the pandemic. Now, let me ask you, my dear listeners, if it does come out later, and I believe it will, that it could have been a game changer, will you, how will you react toward the medical establishment? Will you feel that it has been poisoned just as everything else has been by the left? I read to you last week how the sciences are being compromised by left-wing advocacy. And the example, it was written by Lawrence Krauss, an astronomer that I had on this program. We differed entirely, but he, I give him credit. He's gutsy, and courage is a big deal. The issue that I had, I had him on for an entire hour on the Ultimate Issues Hour. You can get a lot of education listening to this show. 